Our study this morning is going to be on Psalms 119, 57, whereby we are going to learn about God being our portion. God being our portion. The verse says, Thou art my portion, O Lord. I have said that I would keep thy words. You see, thou art my portion, O Lord. I have said that I would keep thy words. The psalmist here is confessing that God is his portion. And because God is his portion, he is going to keep the word of God. Or he is going to keep his words. Also, we can get it in Psalms 16.5. Psalms 16.5. And before we go there, I would like you to read that, that first verse. Uh, 119.57 in Kiswahili. Read it. Inasema. Bwana ndiye aliye fungu langu. Nimesema kwamba nitayati maneno yake. Bwana ndiye nini? Ndiye aliye fungu langu. Fungu langu. That is in Kiswahili. So 16.5. Also it says. The Lord is a portion of mine inheritance and of my cup. The Lord is a portion of mine inheritance and of my cup. Kiswahili? Bwana ndiye fungu la posho langu na la kikombe changu. Wewe unaishika kura yangu. So here you can see this is a child of God confessing about God that God is his portion ni fungu lake so here the portion here we can take it in two way we all know that in this world when where we are living each and every person has what he has. And whatever he has is God's portion. Because nothing comes by itself. All what we have in this world are gifts of God. So you can say, whatever you are enjoying, whatever you have, is God's portion. Because we are going to see also if you are not with God, whether it is evil is still a portion from who? From God. I would like us to read, for you to understand, I would like you to read uh, Job, Job 27, 13. What does, what does it say? Job 27, 13. Sahili? Hii ndiyo sehemu ya mtu muovu kwa mungu. Na urithi wa hao wa waneao wa upokeao kwa mwenyezi. That is it. This is a portion of a wicked man with God. And the heritage of oppressors which they shall receive of the almighty. You see, even the wicked have got their portion in this world. Whatever you do in this world, you must know it is either God is your portion in a good way, or if you are wicked, you also God is going to be a portion in a weak yani to you. You will share that wickedness. That wicked wickedness will be a portion in this world. Sasawa. Also read Job 2029. Job 2029. Kiswahili? Hii ndiyo sehemu ya mtu muovu itokayo kwa Mungu na urithi 
aliyowekewa na Mungu. Yes. This is the portion of a wicked man from God. And the heritage appointed unto him by God. What does this teach us? It is teaching us that in this world there are two portions. God can be your portion. The goodness of God can be your portion. When you say God can be your, can be your portion, that means the love of God. You can inherit God. God being your inheritance. So also you can have inheritance of the wicked. That that one will be your heritage and pointed unto you by God. So I want us to see these differences so that what we are going to study you may understand what it means when the psalmist is saying God is my po is my portion. Not now the portion of the wicked because also the wicked have got their portion from God. They inherit wickedness. They inherit wickedness and that's what they will share at the end. That's what they will share at the end. So uh, so the first point in order for you to understand this let us read Psalms 73:26 What does it say? Kiswahili? Kiswahili nasema Mwili wangu na moyo wangu kupunguka bali Mungu ni mwamba wa moyo wangu na sehemu yangu milele You see in English it says my flesh and my heart faileth but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever meaning a child of God can have no strength of this world can be in misery or in whatever condition he can be but the best thing for a child of God to know is that God is his strength God is his strength and he is his portion even kumaanisha hata wakati kabisa unaona things are not on your side hata kana kwamba unaona kiafya you are you don't have strength you are very weak you must know as a child of god that god is your strength why because as you have learned this body is just a form and very soon it is going to be to be to dissolve and what is important in you is that god who dwells in you in your soul because he'll be your strength even if your body or your strength is going to fail god will be with you in eternity and at all time kwa hivyo god is your portion and when is your portion you are not supposed to fear anything nothing because even if you lose this body he is with you because he is your portion yes nikusema ni sehemu ya nani ni sehemu yako god ni sehemu yako he is your portion so in order for us to understand let us ask ourselves if a man were left to his free choice what he would choose to take for his portion <coughs> if a man were left to his free choice what he would choose to take for his portion not what his portion in his trade <coughs> when he can have no better but if we, he were left to his free choice kama binadamu angewachiwa a choose his portion 
na sio wakati amekuwa wakati yako katika shida ndio anachuza pana kama angeambiwa yani awe a make a choice of, of his portion these are the things that he, he would consider one he would require that it be something good or apprehended to be so okay you choose one thing lazima what you are going to choose it was something which is good you cannot choose something which is not evil that's one point you are supposed to consider another point he would choose that he would, he would choose that which is suitable to the capacities necessities and desire of him whose portion it is angetegua ile kitu anajua kabisa his capacities necessity zake sote eh and the desire tamaa zake zote eh ni kwa ile kitu anachagua kwa sehemu yake hiyo ndio kitu angeangalia sana sasa mara yake hakuna mtu anaweza kuchagua kitu ambaye hawezi kumsaidia ni kweli lazima achague kitu kabisa which is suitable to his capacity necessities and desire of him whose portion it is alafu lazima hiyo kitu iwe it be sufficient to supply all his wants so as he may live upon it hii kitu amechagua ni kitu ambaye anajua wakati wote akitaka hii it is able to supply kila kitu ambaye anafanya nini anataka anahitaji huwezi chagua kitu ambaye kabisa that haiwezi kukupatia ile kitu yani unahitaji lakini ukiambiwa sasa unachagua ungechagua something which can give you all what you want sasawa ya pili eh, mwisho inasema it must be something such a thing wherein he may find satisfaction pale anapata satisfaction ya kutosha so that he may yani so, so that he needs he needs seek no more and ask no more pale atakuwa satisfied na akienda pale anasikia kabisa amatoshereka so all these things are to be found only in who in god hiyo yote hakuna pale nyingine unaweza kuipata you can only get it in god manake mungu peke yake is the only one who can give you true satisfaction in this world and that's why those people who follow the worldly pressure or the worldly riches they'll never get rich in this world you'll find that wale ambao wametajirika sana they are the most poorest because bad watafu wanatafuta na atatoka katika huu mwili kama hajafanya nini hajapata hajapata wale ambaye kabisa wana, wanasipata wale ambaye wanapata ndio wanakuwa more hungry kuliko wengine wote ndio wanakuwa more hungry kuliko wengine wote sasa so i would like you to read matthew 1917 what does it say read it inasema akawaambia kwa nini kuniuliza habari ya wema aliye mwema ni mmoja lakini ukitaka kuingia katika uzima shishike amri that is it and he said unto him uh, why in 16 he says and behold one came and said unto him good master what good thing shall i do that i may have eternal life and 17 our lord said and he said unto him why callest thou me good there is none good but one and that is who god 
But if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments. Kwa hiyo sema, hakuna kitu kingine nini? Kiswahili nasema 17 akamwambia mm -hmm. Kwani kuniuliza habari ya wema? Mhm. Mm mhm, mm aliye mwema ni mmoja. Lakini ukitaka kuingia katika uzima shishike amri. That is it. So God is the only good. So when you have God as your portion, you have all goodness. That's the point. If God is your portion, you must know then you have all goodness which you deserve in this world. So there's no good above him, besides him or beyond him. But if anything else be good, it is either from him or with him. But that you see now, if anything may good yani is good, it is either from him imetoka kwake or niye mwenye or with him ni kusema nothing that we can enjoy even this world ambayo haijatoka kwa nani haijatoka kwa mungu kwa hivyo whatever you enjoy in this world ukisema is good where does it come from from god from god So there's nothing good. God is the only good. Kwa hivyo sasa lazima ujue what is this goodness of God? Apart from what I'm getting outwardly, what else is that goodness? What else is that goodness? Because there is no corner that you can go or you can think of where you're not going to find the goodness of who of god there's no corner but then you'll find that when we talk about the goodness of god you must know that all the creatures in this world they are god's creature and no matter what is goodness is in those creatures it is just a fraction of the goodness of who of god yes just a fraction is very small things compared to the true goodness of god kwa hivyo nikumaanisha if truly the creature is going to take you that small goodness is going to drive you from god that means you don't know god you don't know god if you can be satisfied by a fraction of his goodness which in actual sense is not the goodness itself no no pare because god is all goodness himself this is a just creature which he has created yes. and whatever they have is just a fraction of his go goodness yes. so if you are taken by the creature to forget not to, and you stop there then you are a fool you are a fool because you don't even know god you don't even understand god and that's why you see many people yeah many people are praising creatures like money they fall in love with money as if money is all goodness of god but it is just a fraction of god goodness because it is a creature and god is eternal spirit meaning creature very soon it will do what it will perish but god is eternal so you can if you can be taken by a creature goodness to forget god goodness it means you don't even understand yourself it means you don't even know where you are going It means that even you don't know where you are coming from. It means that you are forgotten of yourself because we are created in the image of God. And that's why we are we are we are put into this temporal world 
to learn the wonders of God. Then after some time, we are going back to, to go to who? To our father where we came from. But when people come in this world, they are taken up, they are taken up by this worldly good. So God is primitively and originally good. The creature is but deliberately good. Is a derived good. Creature is the derived group. Yani good. That means God is the original good. The only thing that we get from a creature is just a derived good. It is God wanting you to test him in the creature. So that that goodness of the creature can drive you to who? To God. To God. But you find the wicked men, they stop are the goodness of the creature. But they don't want to know the goodness itself who is God. So, God is good of himself, which nothing else is. The fountain good, and therefore is called the fountain of living waters. Let us read Jeremiah 2.13. Nasitse. Sisi nasema kwa maana watu wangu kwa maana watu wangu hawa wametenda maofu mawili wameniacha mimi nilie chemichemi ya maji ya uzima wamechichimbia mabirika mabirika yavujayo yasiyoweza kuweka maji You see For my people have committed two evils They have forsaken me the fountain of living waters. You see, that's what people have done. They have forsaken God, the fountain of living waters. That means God only eternal life. God is saying, they have forsaken me. That's one thing. That's one evil. And what have they done instead? And healed the healed them cisterns, broken cisterns that can hold no water. Hii mabirika unasikia, hii cisterns, ni nini? Ni the device, the, the things that man have devised in this world for their happiness. Ni mabirika. Ambaye, it is a created happiness by man. This created happiness, you understand? It is a it, they are broken systems. Because you kusema they can hold no water. Nikumaanisha hata ukikuta mtu kabisa anafurahi sana hapa duniani. Ametajirika, ako na mali, ako na kila kitu. The next time utakuta unasikia hata saa hii hata hakuli chakula. Eh? Hata naweko maji. Maji. Hata hewa sasa ni kununua anafanya nini? Mm. So what was happening there in this world? Hiyo ni bilika ambayo ni nini? Is broken see? sister. The happiness ambayo alikuwa anaona kama ni happiness, it is not ni bilika. They are broken systems. They can hold no water. Ni kusema they can give you no life. They can they cannot give life. They are goodness of the creature in this world. Lakini Mungu anasema nini? They have forsaken who? God. Ambaye ndio nini? Chemichemi. Yeah, chemichemi ya nini? Ya maji. They have forsaken me, the fountain of living waters. That's what man has done. And Matthew Wengi ambaye labda wanaenda kanisa wanaweza kuambia, "Ya, yeah, he, watu kweli hata wewe kanisa." No. These things they are deeper than people think about. Utakuja kuona the same people who are in the church, they are the most corrupt wengine. The, the, some of them they have they have pride, covetousness. Wengine hata raha, hata kanisa anaenda tu to give thanks because of the happiness ila anapata wapi? Hapa hapa, hapa duniani. Sasa the third person anaweza kufikiria he has found the goodness of God and yet he is very far. 
Yeye yeah, anafutwa na creature. Even he is thanking God because of that creature. That creature called money. That creature called money. Ama worldly riches. Hata ukienda usikia wakati anapeleka thanksgiving. He is giving thanksgiving because ya yale ametendewa wapi? Yale amemsingira. Ya Sasa na hizo zote ndio mko nasema ni mabiri? The assistance. They cannot hold water. So hata Mungu akikuangalia wakati unasema tunapeleka thanksgiving at wewe unataka at, 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 anashindwa sasa huyu. He doesn't even know the true blessing. And you ask the true blessing is only for the children of God who knows God or whose God is their portion. Wewe sikwenda ku thank God at vile at sasa tunaenda kukishia at ni mali ya dunia and yet you don't know the truth. Nikumaanisha wewe you are fool. Hata ukweli peke yake haufanyi nini? Hauielewi. Yule ambaye unaenda kupatia pesa ati, ati, ati umrudishia asanti hata hujui kabisa hata yeye ukweli hafanyi nini? Haele? Hata huyo Mungu bado hata hafanyi nini? He is teaching you about prosperity. Sasa yeye amemjua Mungu namna gani? Is God his portion? No. No. So, hiyo lazima tuelewe kwa sababu wengi wameingia mafundisho ambayo wanafikiria the, 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 that those are the way the, the worldly goods wakati umepata hapa duniani na ndio Mungu anasema nataka tuangalie hiyo verse Ecclesiastes 9 1 and 2 Ecclesiastes 1 and 2 soma inasema na kwa ajili ya hayo yote nikatia moyo wangu katika kuyatafuta tafuta haya ya kuwa wenye haki na wenye hekima pamoja na matendo yao yote wamo mkononi mwa Mungu kwamba ni pendo au kwamba ni chuki mwanadamu hajui mambo yote ya wapita tu mambo yote ya watukia wote sawa sawa kuna tukio moja kwake mwenye haki na kwake asiye haki kwa mtu mwema na kwa mtu mwovu kwa mtu aliye safi na kwa mtu asiye safi kwake yeye atoaye kafara na kwake asiye toa kafara kama alivyo huyo mwema ndivyo alivyo mwenye dhambi yeye aapaye na yeye aogopaye kuapa that is Yako. it people must understand this because here god is saying all things come alike to all there is one event to the righteous and to the wicked that means mungu anataka kusema namna gani unaweza pata mtu ambaye ni wicked In this world we are talking about this world this worldly riches and prosperity unaweza pata the wicked ametajirika katika hii dunia kuliko nani the righteous you see now the event here wewe ku judge as you say kwa sababu huyu akona mali sana ni baraka za nani na anamjua Mungu sana hapana haiendi namna hiyo anasema to the good sorry all things come alike to all there is one event to the righteous and to the wicked to the good and to the clean and to the and to the unclean to him that sacrifice and to him that sacrifice that not yule ana sacrifice mwenye anaita kanisa na yule afanye nini haye haendi sasawa as is the good so is the sinner and he that and he that sweareth as he that feareth a not what a wanga event in this world they happen to all hakuna mtu anaweza kusema mimi hii nimepata ni kwa sababu napenda Mungu sana ukisema hivyo na yule ambaye ni wicked amepata hata kuliko wewe na kanisa haendi atasema namna gani yeye yeah, amepata kwa sababu ya nini ni Mungu bado so hapa lazima watu waangalie because people have never realized That when it come to this world this world is a world of good and e- evil and in this world god is revealing himself in good and e- evil that's why you'll find that somebody can be evil and yet he lives longer than the righteous kwa sababu kazi yake hajafanya nini hajakamilisha 
Unajua nikisema hivyo wengine wataona kana kwamba I'm teaching a false doctrine. But that's the truth. He's a wicked man. But there is something he is doing of God on that dark side that God wanted to be revealed. There is a righteous man also that is doing good to God. But he'll go even earlier to the grave. Because the light which God wanted him to give, amefanya nini? Amemaliza. Ile kibarua ile kibarua nini? Amepatiwa na Mungu, amemaliza. Kuna wicked naye hajamaliza. Utamwacha akifanya nini? Akiendelea. And that's why unasikia hapa Daniel asema All things come alike to all to all. Kwa hivyo wewe usifikirie kwa sababu wewe atakuwa na mali nini. So any body ambaye anaenda kufundisha kanisa prosperity ajue kabisa that is a false doctrine in the church of God. Manake the word of God hakuna pahali inaongea ati sasa wewe ati sasa uwe sasa ukifikiria ati Mungu ataenda kukubariki na mambo ya nini ya hapa duniani. At sasa uwe sasa unaenda fasting ama unafanya mambo yako yote hata you are tithing offering ndio patio mambo hapa duniani. Je, wale ambaye they don't sacrifice na waheadi kanisa unaona wanatembea namna gani? Wako na mali ngapi? Mingi sana hata kuliko wewe. Yes, kwa hivyo anything about prosperity in this world is not a doctrine to be taught in the church of Christ. The only thing you need to know is the truth. And that's why ukienda katika madhi Mungu anasema msiombe kama nani? Wanafik. Ambao wanafikiria wakiomba sana ndi watafanya nini? Wanasikika. Wanasikika. Ni kwa sababu wewe ambaye unanijua hata kana kwamba hujapiga magoti. I knew ni najua shida za nani? Najua shida zako. Alafu anasema seek ye first the kingdom of God. All other things shall be added to you. If he can give the wicked what about you? Kama Mungu anaweza kuwa anapatia anapatia the wicked na the righteous kulingana na his providence zile anataka. Ni kumaanisha if you are righteous na hujapata ujue hakuna pahali Mungu afanya nini? Amekosea Amekosea manake amejiongelesha. Hii mali hapa duniani mimi hupatiana kulingana na vile anafanya nini? Nataka. I can give the wicked hawa na mali nyingi hata wale wanalipenda na wapatia kidogo. Sasa yeye kwa watoto wake anawaambia kwa hivyo nyingi kwa sababu you know me I'm your portion seek you first the kingdom of God because that is the best portion that you can have. That's the best portion that you can have in this world. Hii ingine wachana naye. Hii unanangangania bure. Huyo ambaye anangangana apate na mpatia labda kwa sababu hakuna kitu kingine atafanya nini? Atakuja pata. Kuna kitu kingine atakuja kupata. Lakini utakuja kuona binadamu kwa sababu hawaelewi wa, wa, wanakimbishana na mali ya dunia. So all creatures goodness is but a stricture. A stricture of that perfect good which is in God. Tukisema a stricture ni kumaanisha ni kitu kidogo sana that you can get to, from the creature. Whether prosperity, whether wealth of this world, no matter how much you have, even if you have the whole of the whole city, all the ship in the ocean is zako, hata mandege zote ambazo ziko ziko hewani ni zarani, ni zako. Compared to the goodness of God, they are just strictures they are nothing nothing because after this body the body will not benefit na ndio kristo akasema yale mambo na wafundisha mwili wenye hutafanya nini hautafaidi hautafaidika ni kwa sababu huu mwili utabaki hapa kwa mchanga and you yani everything ambayo ilikuwa na serve this body also utabaki hapa sasa itakuwa ume work for all your life for nothing so if we find any good in them that is in creature that should lead us to the greater good even to the creator let me repeat 
all creature goodness is but a stricture of that perfect good which is in God. And therefore, if we find any the good in them, that should lead us to the greater good, even to the creator. Kama tunapata anything good to the cre- creature, we should not start, stop there. Those are the pointer. We should try to seek the greater good. Because this goodness is just to point us to the greater good. Goodness. Dio tunambiwa, sometimes, when you go to the mining, wanasema, before you, you read to the gold, the, where the vault is, there are some pointer by itakuwa zinafanya nini? Zinakuonesha wakati unachimba. Unaona vile mgodi vile utafua? Utafuata. Ndio ufika wapi? Kwa dhahabu ile yenyewe. Hivyo ni kumaanisha the same way is this worldly creature. They are just pointer to guide us to that greater goal. Chasawa. So swali ni je? Who would leave the substance to follow the shadow Nani anaweza kuacha the true substance wewe unafuata nini kiburi the shadow itself because these things of this world they are shadows they are type but the true substance is who is god himself because all these things they are forms created for a certain purpose they are shadows so nani huyo ambaye will follow a shadow and then he leave the substance sasa who would leave the substance to follow the shadow or desire the picture to dishonor and neglect of the person whom it represents wewe unaona picha kwa wall Unasema huyu ni so and so. Unashika hiyo picha, unasema vile unapenda hiyo picha. Lakini mwenye hiyo picha akija pale, utaki hamtaki kum, hautaki kumuona. You are not even interested with him. Hata unafanya, lakini picha yenyewe unaonesha watu vile wanafanya nini? Unapenda hiyo picha. That's where we are. Because this world is just a picture. It shows yani it is yani it, 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 it is a picture outward picture of God but the true God this picture this creature are not God sasa unakuja kuona watu wanakubatia creature wanaipenda sana lakini when it come to God they don't have time they have only time with the picture but not the person himself sasa so here we say that If you have affections be detained in the creature you send the creature in God's state kama tama your affection mvuto yako kama is itasimamia to the creature hiyo ndio aim yako na ndio maombi yako kutoka asubuhi mpaka jioni kama hapo ndio itasimamia then wewe umeondoa yani yani umeinua the creature than god himself kama wewe kutoka asubuhi mpaka jioni akili yako yote ni the creature from january to january unafikiraga tu juu ya creature hiyo tu ndio unafikiria hakuna kitu kingine so you have taken god out of your soul wewe umeweka the creature na ndio naona watu wengine wanauana kwa sababu ya mashamba inheritance ndugu na ndugu nakuta wameuana watu wanauana kwa sababu ya, ya pesa those are fools they don't know god they follow the shadow but not the person himself they love the shadow baka inafika wanauana because of a picture the shadow of this world because they don't know god Watu kama wagejua Mungu. Hakuna mtu angeuliza hata ndugu yake akimnyanganya shamba. Lakini watu watasema hapana. He's a wicked person na atakunyanganya. Anaweza kuja na kunyanganya. Lakini you should not take the law on your hand. 
mpaka muwaze kuwana ama kufanyana mambo mabaya hiyo kesi tunaoneshwa katika Isaac vile alifanywa na Philstein anachibua kisima wanasema ni yao anatoka anaenda anachibua ingine anatoka anaenda na all those well zilikuwa zinachibua na nani na Abraham baba yake lakini Philistine akichumbua wanaenda kumwambia hapana hii ni yetu anawaachia ya pili akafanya the same wakawaachia hakusimama asemi hapana atafute jeshi ya kuja wapiga asemi hapana hii ni ya nani ni ya baba hasa upigane kwa sababu of your, yani your father's inheritance ni kwa sababu yeye ndiye alichimba hiyo kisima wakati alitoka hapo akachimba ya tatu wale walimuogopa the philistine waliogopa yeye mpaka wakatumana watafute friendship na yeye why nini nini iliwasusha walishangaa kujua ni mtu ni mtu ni mtu ni yake mpaka wakasema sasa we don't know ile ina anaweza kuwa anafanya nini anafikiria huyo mtu anaweza kuwa anatubagia jamaa nyingine kubwa sana you know you see now fear ikawashika mpaka sasa wakaona no wacha tuachane hawakumuliza tena and Isaac hakuna kitu alikuwa naye yeye alikuwa anajua god is his portion it is yeye kabisa alijua this is a creature he was a true christian this is a creature sasa nitapigana nao kwa nini? Kisima ni nini? Sasa ni, ni kuve kwa sababu ya kisima matope, mchanga at land. And kabisa kabisa very soon utakufa ufanye nini? Uyache. Eh? So, a true Christian atakiwi hata kujipigania kwa sababu of this land of the, yani this worldly good. Hapana. Ukifika hapo Uone wewe vile ati sasa wewe ni mtu wa kupigania the land ama this world is good ujue kabisa kabisa God is not your portion because if God is your portion tumeona God is all goodness so if you have God you have all goodness si ni kweli sasa nini nyingine basi itakuwa ati inakusumbua ati ati, ati hii imeenda ama whatever you will be satisfied meaning Mungu atakupatia nguvu na hata atakupatia better than you think kuliko hata wewe ile unafikiria <coughs> sasa so it's like this if a prince should be woo a virgin by a messenger sasa and she should leave him and cleave to the messenger and those he sent so what does what does that what does it show or what what show is that sio kama mnaelewa if a prince should be who a virgin anataka bibi yeye atume yani servant wamlete huyo bibi sasa huyo bibi awache the prince aende na nani na the servant the messenger that is foolishness hivyo ndio binadamu wako That's where we are. God is the king. Sisi tunawacha the king. Tunaenda with the son, with the servant. So we are the loser. Because the servant ambaye ni this world, they are just servant of who? Of God. Tunaelewana? No, nazimwe kwa hapa na nani? Na Mungu. They are doing the work of God. Lakini sasa sisi we go with the servant. Tunawacha the the king. Hivyo ndivyo binadamu wanga anafanya. Hivyo ndivyo binadamu wanga anafanya. He leaves the true uh, substance for the shadow. So the beauty and sweetness of the creature creatures God's aid is to draw us to himself as the chiefest good. Kwa hivyo any goodness, any beauty, any sweetness in the creature God's aid with those creature is to draw us to himself as the chiefest good. Kwa hivyo yeye anaweka those small sweetness. 
Lakini hii yote ambaye tunaiona na macho yetu ya mwili ambaye amba ni hapa duniani. All these goodness ambaye tunaiona ni ya kutupeleka kwa nani? Ni ni atufute kwa nani? Kwake. Tusisimame pale, atufute kwake ndio tumuone na tumjue. Tuulize If these things yani kama hii kitu ni safi namna hii. What about God himself? Ule alikiuba. Na the same God want yani want me to be to, yani want to be my portion. What about him? Sasa hapo ndio binadamu anaanza kuamka. Lakini wengi wanasimamia to the creature. Wanasimama hapo. Kutoka azaliwe aende shule haja yake, mafikra yake yote, maisha yake yote amekuwa doctrinated about this worldly creature. About the God is not there. Na wengi wanatoka hii dunia bila hata kuelewa why they came in this world. Wengi wanatoka hii dunia bila kuelewa even the creatures zilikuwa za nini. Wengi wanafikiria because ukiangalia watu wengi we, we don't blame them. Because if you don't have that insight of God to understand God, where's kwa blame? They don't know. And that's why at to encourage it is very easy for a parent to encourage a child vile atakwaya worldly good. But when you come to the word of God, hiyo haku hiyo hakuna. So, there is sweetness in creature mixed with imperfection. The sweetness is to draw us to God, but the imperfection is to drive us from setting our hearts on them. That in this world that ambaye tunaona macho yetu there is sweetness in this creature and the imperfection. At the same time there is evil in the same creature. Muzee. Tunaelewana? They are good but at the same time iko nini there is a worm inside unaweza pata matunda mzuri sana lakini ukikata ndani unakuta kuna nini iko mdudu that's the way the sweetness, the sweetness of this world is hivyo ndivyo iko yes they are sweet lakini inside there is imperfection there is something ambaye is not good is evil in it so what is the purpose of god in this because god would have made everything good na in fact wakati aliuba kila kitu asema everything is good sijalisema hivyo lakini adam akafanya nini akaanguka kwa hivyo this good they have, they have became imperfection in it So what is the purpose of God? It is this. The sweetness is to draw us to God. To jue anything that is good, anything that is sweet in this world, it is on the side of who? God. It comes from God. Anything. And that's why we have even we have we have a uh, good animals tamed one we don't tame them nani nani ana tame kondo hakuna ni mungu nani ana tame ngombe ni mungu kwa nini simba anakuwa you cannot tame him na hata ukitemu yeye unajaribu lakini hata ukitemu lazima umfungie uwe saute na mfungia you tame ye, you tame him yes lakini ukimwachilia aende atafanya nini? Atabadilika tena. Atageuka. So in this world there are two principles operating. Good and evil. So in this world kila kitu ambaye tunaona the sweetness of it, yani the sweetness in that something tujue ni ya kutufundisha that there is that goodness of God and we should seek that good goodness. Sasawa but the imperfection is to drive us from setting our hearts on them 
The evil of that things or the dark side of this world ama the imperfections ama the rottenness ni ya kufanya hata kana kwamba hii kitu tunafurahia lakini bado tunaona hii sio kitu ya kufanya nini ya, ku, ya kuweka akili zetu wapi hapa kwa sababu kina umbaya wa that is the thing it is not 100% so it is a good thing when you are enjoying it lakini at the same time ukiangalia the same thing it can be evil so hii hivyo ni ya kutuonyesha that hii vitu ambavyo tunaenjoy hapa duniani they are not we should not put our heart upon upon them because they are not good 100% they are not perfect they are not perfect and that's why if you are uh, you are growing fruit fruit zinakuja zinakuwa tamu there is a harvest time lakini the same fruit ukigojea ikae inakuwa tena inaanza kufanya nini kuoza it was sweet yes lakini when it has passed its time of ripeness inafanya nini inaanza kuharibika that means at the, on the top of your happiness in this world wakati unaona mambo yako yamefanya nini iko sawa sana you are just like a ripe fruit saa hiyo ndio nakuta at the same time there is a worm ya kuoza inafanya nini imeingia umeanza kuoza sasa tena kwa hivyo sasa nikumaanisha there is nothing perfect in this world nothing usidanganywe nothing nothing hakuna only god is all goodness and when you are in god that's the only place that you can get to her happiness hapo peke yake ni kwa sababu hata kana kwamba unaye utakuwa nini utakuwa sawa mungu akikupatia utaringa tena pride will not come because wewe unajua bado these are worldly things and there's nothing good perfect good in them ya kunifanya ni wache god the only true goodness who is supposed to be my portion who, that is a christian lakini wengi wanashindwa na hiyo unakuta wanafuata the creature so uh, there is something there is somewhat good in them look up to the creator but there is vanity and vexation of spirit and this and this is to drive us off from these sublunary things from these worldly things there is a vexation of spirit ukiangalia hata wale watu wanatajirika hata wale watu wanapata mali hapa duniani they don't just get it wengine hata kulala peke yake wafanye nini hawalali wengine they torture their mind from morning to evening Mm-hmm. wengine ambao unaona wako na mali nyingi sana they have never found happiness hawajai kupata wengi ambao tuko nao wako they are, watu wako na pesa mingi but they have never had happiness wewe ambaye labda hauna uko na kidogo ambaye Mungu amekupatia unaweza kukuta wewe wakati umeingia kwa kitanda unalala vizuri paka asubuhi unaamka ukiwa very fresh kuna mtu analala akiamka na ako na mali nyingi sana anastuka saa yote akiibiwa anastuka saa yote akikutwa na wakora hata akitembea anaenda akiangalia watu namna hii huyo umemuonaje huyo mnaona anaenda namna gani anaweza kuwa huyo mtu ako na mpango gani he is ever fearing why yeye amebeba that thing ambaye anaita is good in this world lakini iko na nini? Iko na mudu? Iko na mududu hapa anamsubua. Iko na mududu. It is not good. It is good, yes. Lakini iko na mududu. That's why halali. That's why atanatafuta bodyguard. Muzee. Wewe unatafuta kama bodyguard? Hapana. Si wewe unaenda tu pale unataka. Yule anakaa mpaka atafuta bodyguard ameaza it is, yes he has enjoyed the goodness of this world but there is a worm in it ambaye inamsumbua 
inamsumbua there's one minute ambayo inamsumbua so god is infinitely good in this portion one has not the less because another enjoy it with him you see what does that mean nikumaanisha we can all enjoy god and no one will have less because he is all goodness moja hizi kusema mimi nimekosa kwa sababu Mungu afanye nini ati ati his goodness mefanya nini in god there is sharing without division a partaking without prejudice of a copartner for every man has his portion whole and entire it is no less to us because others enjoy it too nikumaanisha hakuna lakini people watu watauliza kama ni hivyo mbona basi hapa duniani haiko yani mbona hapa duniani ni mwenye nguvu fanya nini nipishe si ndio hapa duniani ni mwenye nguvu mwenye nguvu fanya nini umpishe here kila mtu anatumia nguvu zake kupata kwa hivyo yule ako na nguvu anakuwa na nyi na nyingi but when you come to god in god hakuna yule ako na nyingi nobody anaweza kusema ati amechukua nyingi sana kwa Mungu wengine wakose god is all good and his goodness to all his creature and no one can lack so what happened that kama ni hivyo mbona watu wengine hapa duniani wako na nyingine na wengine hawana it is because this is not the kingdom of who of god This is the kingdom of man. After all, a fallen man, driven by pride, covetousness, envy, and and anger. That's why we have differences. That's why wengine wako naye, wengine hawana, wengine wanahara jaa, wengine hata wanatupa chakula kwa nini? Kwa sababu walikula yani hata 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 zingine zinaoza. Manake alinunua excess. It is because This world it is the world of governed by the prince of this world and the prince of this world is none satan lakini binadamu hajui the spirit that rule this world is not the spirit of god it is the spirit of the devil that's why wengine wako na nyingi na wengine hawana na wenye wako naye they don't care kwa wale hawana lakini kwa sababu ya kitu naita natural benevolence ambayo wengine wanataka kuoneshana ni wakarimu sana hao ndio sasa wanaenda atikupatia maskini lakini wanawapatia ndio waonekane bado wanaanilikana yani kwamba they are good people but this kingdom is not the kingdom of god and that's why christ came because christ came to usher in the kingdom of who of god where there will be no covetousness no pride no whatever all people they'll share god na hakuna mtu atakuwa na nyingi kuliko ule mwingi kuliko ule mwingine we shall all be equal because we shall be satisfied with the goodness of god only not the creature all these things ambayo tunaona macho yetu hizi zitaenda haku hautakuja kusikia pale kitu kama gari ama manyumba no zile vitu tunafikiri ni za maana Tunaambiwa all this bingu na inchi zafanya nini sitaku sitakunjwa everything will go it will be another kingdom a very different kingdom where the life of god wale ambao ni watoto wa mungu wataishi na mungu god will be their portion forever and ever sasawa god is an eternal good and so the most durable portion Let us read Psalms 73:26. Again? Mwili wangu na moyo wangu upunguka, bali Mungu ni mwamba wa moyo wangu na sehemu yangu milele. Na sehemu yako milele. Sehemu yangu milele. Milele. You see now that one anatuambia God when you have God as your portion, he will be your portion eternally you will never lose god lakini hii mambo mengine yote utafanya nini utapoteza 
So when we leave all other portions and inheritance, then we begin to take possession of this portion. Sasawa, when we, leave, when we leave all other portions and inheritance, wakati tunaanza kukataana with all other portion of this world and inheritance of this, of this world, then we begin to take possession of this yeah, the possession of this portion of God. Not until then. Wakati tumeanza yani wakati mawazo yetu tumeanza kuangalia mambo in a spiritual sense. Na tumeanza kuachana the, the portions and inheritance of this world. That is the time we, we start taking possession of that of, of yani uh, possession of God or that portion of God. Yeah, at that time when men see the vanity of making other things their portion. Wakati binadamu anaanza kuona the vanity of making yani other things their portion. As a child of God sees the happiness of his portion. Sasawa. Kwa hivyo kubanisha wakati tumeanza kuona the vanity ya these things hapa duniani hapo ndiyo sasa god see, yani sasa hapo ndiyo, a child of god sees the, the, the happiness of god portion lakini ukiwa akili yako inangangana na mambo hapa duniani na ukiwa kabisa akili yako haitoki hapa wewe hakuna wakati utarealize this possession of god portion hautarealize wengi wametoka hii dunia bila kujua mungu anakaa namna gani na anakaa namna gani god willing nitakuja kwa yani kuwafundisha wakati mta grow up in grace how you can witness god in you bila unaweza witness god na ujue kabisa god is in you sio mambo ya kufikiria ati una, 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 unaanza kuwa kuwaza ati nafikiri ati sijui kama ni ako hapana a child of god is supposed to feel god not in truth not in doctrine he must have that sense of god in himself All the doctrine ambayo tunasoma those are outside ourselves. Hiyo ni mambo tunasoma nje yetu. But this doctrine they should bring us to our sensual our spiritual yani yani sensual and witness God in ourselves. And know that God is our portion. Hiyo inasaidia sana. So death wakati watu wamesimama wamechukua mambo hapa duniani as a portion kitu ya kwanza ukuja kulia rais wakati ya kifo why death blows away all the indecent then and only then can a man begin to perceive their error wakati mtu atakufa wengi wanakufa wakati wanatoka katika huu mwili and they leave this body that is the, the, the moment wengi ujua they are mambo yao imeisha walikuwa nafikiria wako sawa lakini wakati kifo inakuja wakati wanawachana na huu mwili ni wakati yake wakati anatoka hivi anaona wale wamemgojea wale wana, wale ambao wanamkaribisha mzee ama unajua watu wafikiri watu ukiona mtu amewachana ame, ame mwili na anawacha mwili yake amekasirika mpaka amekuja uso wewe mm-hmm. huyo mtu ajenda pazuri wale malaika walikuwa namgojea yes. alistuka ali ile mlango alionyeshwa ile mlango alionyeshwa ni pale haku na hawezi rudi nyuma hakuamini haku sasa hapo ndio binadamu hapo sasa ndio binadamu ujua the vanity ambaye amekaa in this world yaani uh, ameona kabisa he is undone manake ameona ile jia ameenda so a godly man has the beginning here yule ambaye ni mtoto wa Mungu he has the beginning here huyu kano man hana haja na Mungu akiwa hapa he has taken the creature to be his portion all his life he has not cared about that portion of god 
So wakati anatoka kifo wakati anakufa sasa hapo ndio anafanya nini? Analia? Analia rise. But it is too anastuka. But it is too late. But a godly man has the beginning here. Then he comes to have a consummate portion. Anaanzia wapi? Hapa. Mwana wa yule ambaye ataishi na Mungu anaanzia hapa to seek for that portion of God here na kukataa the creature portion mpaka sasa yeye anagojea consummation. Yaani anataka tu yaani hata akitoka kwa mwili ako na furaha sana maana yeye anajua God is his portion. Na wale ambao watamlisif a good angel. Malaika wa nani? Wa Mungu. Hao ndio wanagojea yeye. Kwa hivyo anaenda kama amefanya nini? Amesmile. Anaenda amesmile. Maana he knows he is going to have to have all the goodness. And the wicked person is going to inherit. Tuliona namna gani? The portion of wickedness ndio itakuwa nini? Ndio itakuwa kikombe cha nani? Cha chake. Huyo na mwana wa Mungu the portion ambayo anapata ni nani? Ni Mungu. Mungu. Na huyu mwingine naye the portion ambayo anapata ni wickedness ambaye the lord of wickedness or evil is the devil is the devil. Sasa utaenda wapi? Na hiyo ndiyo portion yako. Na hiyo ndiyo kikombe ambayo ulikuwa unafanya nini? Unaja? Unajaza wakati ulikuwa hapa. Kama ungeambia ukuje ukae hapa. Usikize neno la Mungu. Uge kubali. He was very busy. Ukifanya biashara zako lakini wakati sasa uta dissolve ndio utakuja kujua yes you are doing nothing the whole vanity ni vile haukufanya nini haukuelewa i think that i think be our portion it is necessary that we have an interest in it and a title to it not only that it be good but that we may claim it as ours for that is that which sweeteneth everything to us that it is ours to use hakuna wakati unaweza kufurahia kila mtu wanga akitafuta kitu wakati anasema sasa hii kitu ni yangu i've worked for it na unaishika unafanya nini unafurahi unasema hii ni ya ni yangu so here this portion of god lazima tukiwa watoto wa mungu iwe our, yani it is necessary that we have an interest in it and title to it we work for it we desire it wakati tuko wapi tuko hapa duniani we desire it we desire it mpaka tuwe na title of it tusije tukakaa tuka tukisema tu na mdomo wengi na ndio nasikia Yesu Kristo yaani Daniel alisema wengi wanasema nini na mdo lakini watakuja kufanya nini kushangaa ni kwa sababu gani ndio wanasema Yesu ni bwana kutoka asubuhi mpaka jioni but they don't have interest in that Christ they don't have interest in that Christ so yao ni ya mdomo lakini matendo haku So not only God is good but he must be a ours. Tunaona pale. Si ati kusema God is good na unaenda tu unasema God is good. Unajua watu wanafikiria ukisema vitu na mdomo sasa mambo imefanya nini? Ati imekuwa sasa because you have said God is good. Oh yani all the time Si ndio tunasemanga. They are good yes kusema hivyo. Lakini kuna mtu atasimamia pale afikirie sasa ame ameongea mambo mazuri sana kwa sababu ame, amesema God is good. Ni mazuri dio watu wakisikia na macho ya mwili hii. Lakini hapa God is, must not only be good but he must also be ours. Tunaelewana? He must also be a ours. Sio kusema tu you possess him. That goodness of God, that God of goodness, that thing that is only good, you possess him. 
And when we say you possess God, ni kumaanisha in you. In you. If God is going to be yours, kitu kama kitu inaitwa pride should not be in you. Kitu ambayo inaitwa covetousness should not be in you. Envy should not be in you. Malice should not be in you. No, 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 pare. Because whenever you have those things, then you don't own God. God is not yours. Because when you say God must be yours, kumaanisha you live like who? Na wewe unakaa kama nani? Kama Mungu. You own him. Because God is not a title that utachukua pale karatasi uweke kwa mfuko, useme anga tiniko naye kwa mfuko hapana. To own God it is to own his image. Your image ionekane Mungu watu wakikuona hata kana kwamba uko katika huu mwili, wewe the body ambaye ina manifest in this world is the spirit ambaye ina control that body is the spirit of God. Si ati nakuja hapa kuambia watu wewe ati unampenda Yesu Kristo ama una ati go, go, ata, ama kusema God is good. Na ukikaa kidogo unaona wewe ni mtu uko na tamaa nyingi sana. Wewe ni mtu ambaye pride iko juu sana. Wewe ni mtu hata umejaa matusi kwa mdomo. Wewe ni mtu uko na jealousy. Wewe ni mtu hata mnyanganya mtu mali yake pahali. Wewe ni mtu ambaye unahubiri kwa sababu una tamaa ya kudanganya ndio upate pesa. You are after this portion of this this world the portion you can hide and You don't teach people because you want them to know the truth. When you teach them because wherever where your purpose it is to enrich yourself. So even if you say God is good, God is not going to be good because sababu umesema hapana. God must be yours. Ni kusema your character lazima ifanye nini? Yabatane. Lakini sio kusema kwa mdomo you are doing the opposite. Sasa hapo ndio shida yake itakujia to the present generation christianity so let us read zechariah 13:9 zechariah 13:9 what does it say soma inasema nami nita lileta fungu lile la tatu na kulipitisha kati ya moto nami nitawasafisha kama fedha isafishwavyo nami nitawajaribu kama dhahabu ijaribiwavyo wataliitia jina langu nami nitawasikia mimi nitasema watu hawa ndio wangu na watasema bwana ndiye mungu wangu that is it and i'll bring the third part through the fire hanu watoto wa mungu through the fire to be a child of god or to be a son of god you must pass through the fire nikumaanisha you must be tried salvation sio watu ambao wanataka mali ya prosperity hapa duniani you must be tried na hii kuwa tried kumaanisha wakati watu wengine hapa duniani wana enjoy wewe unapitishwa katika moto unaona wengine wakipata na wewe haufa haupa haupati paka unaanza kuuliza wewe kwani mimi nimefanya nini kwa hivyo nikumaanisha Mungu anasema and I'll bring the third part through the fire and we refine them and I'll refine them as silver is refined and will try them as god is tried they shall call on my name and i'll hear them nasikia ni watu ambao wafanya nini wameundwa ni watu wa mungu watu ambao wamesimama na ukweli watu ambao wamejua god is their portion na wanasimama na ye. i will say it is my people mungu atasema this is my pe- my people and they shall say the lord is my god now what I'm saying the Lord is my God. Kwa hivyo kumaanisha Mungu ndiye anatawara ndani yako. The Lord is my God. So here ni kumaanisha ni God is yours. Si ati unasema kama present day Christian generation Christianity. Watu ambao wanafundisha prosperity. People ambao wamesukumwa wa, wa, wa na pesa. Watu ambao wanafundisha uongo and yet wanasema Yesu ni bwana. But the character God cannot say these are my people. Mungu alisema tusidanganyane. God is not a respecter of any person. Kama hautakaa kuligana neno la Mungu, usidanganye watu fikiria ati kuna vile Mungu atakurespect. 
Even if you ukijivika which title ati ujiweke title mimi ati sasa waanza kusema mimi ni apostle so mimi ni pastor so whatever if those title cannot make you they cannot recommend you to god god is not a respecter of, of any person god will never say you are my people unless you are na wewe hautasema the lord is my god ni kwa sababu god is not your lord kwa nini kanisa inaitwa antichrist it is because Christ is not their lord. Ni watu ambao wameingia kanisa wanataka tu kutumia jina la Kristo wafanya nini? Wajitarishe, yani wajitajirishe. But their lord is another one. Their lord is another one. Lakini wao wale ambao wanasema ni watoto wa Mungu wanaingia pale ndio wapate pesa but their lord is not Christ. That's why kanisa ya mwisho inasemekana it is an antichrist. I would like us to read Matthew 22:32 Read it Mimi ni Mungu wa Ibrahimu na Mungu wa Isaka na Mungu wa Yakobo Mungu si Mungu wa wafu bali wa walio hai That is it I am the I am the God of Abraham and the God of Isaac and the God of Jacob God is not the God of the dead but of the living. You know here wengine wangefikiria Mungu hapa anaongelea wale ambao anasema amekufa hapa anaongelea wale ambao wako kaburini. Hapana. That statement is above that. Inamaanisha Mungu ni Mungu wa wale ambao wamekuwa quickened they were spiritually dead but God himself by grace which is in our Lord Jesus Christ has quickened them by his spirit kwa hivyo wamepata though wamepata uhai ni kusema spiritually they are resurrected na hiyo ndiyo tunaita the first resurrection the first resurrection to be resurrected to be a child of God to be resurrected in order to hear the word of God to have a spiritual ear spiritual understanding that is the first resurrection so mungu hapo anasema ni wa wale ambaye wamekuwa spiritually resurrected they can understand the word of god lakini yeye sio mungu wa wale wamefanya nini wameku wamekufa wale wamekufa ni kumaanisha spiritually they are dead na wakiwa hapa duniani ni wale wanafuata kitu tunaita creature co- comfort hiyo ndio tamaa yao na hiyo ndio haja yao. Wao ni watu ambao wamekufa ganzi. They cannot know God. Kricha kwao imekuwa more valuable than God himself. So nikimalizia nasema hivi. That which a man would make his portion if he were free to choose. It should be a proper and suitable good our own good kama ni choice yako ile portion unatakiwa ku choose it must be the suitable good and our own good and that suitable good is that great good which is god kama ni our choice we should choose god sasawa So man is not only carried to good but good that suit to his capacity and necessity. Kwa hivyo man lazima afuate that good which suit his capacity and necessity. And the only good that suit man capacity and necessity is that great good who is our God. God should be our all must be our portion. So Men were made for God and therefore cannot have full contentment without God. Sasa. Eh, hey, men were made for God and therefore they cannot have full contentment without God. Hakuna njia nyingine ambaye unaweza pata comfort 
ama kutoshereka ama kukamilika ama kukamilika isipokuwa nani pasipo Mungu kwa hivyo binadamu hiyo ni mambo anatakiwa ajue e, na a choose the right portion either for good or for wickedness amen